All right, no matter where you are, power, of course, is a concern. Dominion Energy crews are working hard to keep the lights on. Joining us here in studio is Dominion Vice President Joe Woomer. Joe, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. You got it all under control? Right now we have it under control. Uh, we've been working hard to uh, prepare for this event. Uh, we've staged crews, materials, um, so that we can respond when Dorian hits us. What type of assets have you brought in for this storm? You know, right now we've got over 3,400 line crews, uh, over 700 tree crews on, on hand. Uh, it's been a good event for us as far as preparation uh, from a material standpoint. We always preach to our viewers' patience because we know it takes time for your crews to get out there and you want those crews to be safe. Absolutely. Safety is the first thing for us, for, for our customers, for our teammates, for those contractors that are coming to our aid. Um, especially a down wire, you, we should consider any down wire as a, as a live wire, stay at least 30 feet away from it. And it's important, you know, for, to help children and our pets stay away from that line as well. Can you actually hear a downed line? Not necessarily and then that's why we as soon as we're safely able to get out into the field we will have assessors and patrollers out there um, looking at those reports of downed wires working with our 911 centers to respond to those and uh, make those safe if, if in fact they are still hot. I imagine someone losing their power in the middle of the night and they, and they may run outside. There could be danger associated with that, correct? Yes, there could be. And you know, in different neighborhoods, it's gonna have different situations. Some of our neighborhoods are underground, some have aerial lines. Uh, and that's situational awareness is very important for, for everyone during this event, including our employees. So call you guys rather than try and do it yourself. Absolutely, call that one eight six six dom help number, report uh, your outages, um, make sure you report uh, any down wires. And so there's no way to tell how long there would be a power outage, correct? Or how long it's gonna take to, f to get power back on. Yeah, th and patience is a good word for this because we're gonna start through this thing and outages are gonna happen overnight. So when many people wake up in the morning, there are gonna be power outages in the area. Um, and the peak is gonna come about midday. Mm -hmm. So during that period of time, we can't even get out and do work um, and put our folks at risk and put them aloft. So as soon as that storm starts to back down and the winds start to come down, that's when we'll get our assessors out there. That's when our crews will start showing up in mass and you'll see them through the area. But we can expect uh, this not to be a 24 to 48 hour event because of the first days, it'll be pretty much a washout. Wow, why do you say noon? Why did you say no? Well, at midday is when we yeah. should see our peak outages as the, as the storm comes up through the area and starts to make that turn. Okay, you're timing with the storm. Okay, I was, I was just yes, making sir. sure I didn't miss something there. What should people do uh, as soon as their power goes there? Should they turn off everything they thought they had on? Does that help you guys at all? Yeah, yeah, you can turn off your some of your essential appliances. You want to keep a light or so on to see when the power comes back on, obviously. But you could turn down the thermostat or turn off your... Uh, air conditioning and some of those equipment. Um, but you know, what we do is we're professionals out there and when we uh, patrol these lines, we'll bring them back hot uh, and bring the power up in a systematic way and, and safety again is paramount. And never assume that you guys know, always call, correct? Always call us, you know, and you know, preparation on the front end too is, you know, have the flashlight, have, you know, have your medicines, do all those things in advance to not wait for the power to go out and say, oh no, I don't have these things. All right. Well, good luck to you guys and we, we hope you stay safe and we hope you keep the lights on. We will get the lights back on if they go <laughs> out. On. All right, Jim, thanks so much. <laughs> all right, Nicole.